Nice hat. Thanks. I was being sarcastic. Well, I stole your face. Car feels what the frit are you doing? Don't worry, John. I'm just making popcorn to watch a movie. What movie is it, your flag? I'm watching Garfield Fred original movie. Garfield, do you know how bad a bad movie is? Show do a big mouth, John. The movie's about to start. Stuff in your face as usual. Oh, 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 this movie is so funny. It's the colon P. This movie sucks. Why are you watching it? Whatever, John. Just go make me another bag of popcorn. Oh my god, Garfield, you ate that whole bag and it's only been three and a half seconds. How dare you? So are just a no good lazy that kitty camp. I hate you, Garfield. I swear to god I'm gonna soak you. Why are you so lazy and fat? Why can't you be a good pet like OD? Dog sound. Okay then, if you can make me popcorn and make me some lasagna, and if you don't, I will have to use this against you. Oh crap, fine, I will make your stupid lasagna, you fat or beast lazy retarded cat. You're going into orbit, you stupid moth. Okay, garbage field, here's your stupid lasagna, you piece of crap. Nom 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 nom. Oh, MBTW, can you get me another lasagna? Hey, what'd you get for your birthday? I got older! <laughs> <laughs> that is... Ah, it's not a liquid! It's a great many pieces of solid matter that form a hard floor-like surface! Ah! Wow, you look like me but you are red. Well crap. Today is the first day of school. And all kids are coming back from summer break right now. I wish summer break lasted a lot longer. Wake up Rosie. It's time for your first day of school. Heck no. I'm not going to school on the first day. I'd rather go to Peter Piper Pizza instead of that crap. Rosie. Don't start this crap today. You are going to school on the first day and that's final. Ugh, fine. Good morning class. Welcome to the 2018 through 2019 school year. We are going to write a story about what you did over the summer break. What? No. I'm not going to write a stupid story about what I did over the summer break. I'd rather pull out my laptop and play Fortnite Battle Royale. Rosie. You better write a story or else you will go to the principal's office. Plus, playing games is not allowed in this classroom. For the last freaking time, I'm not writing a stupid story and that's final. You know what, Rosie? I have had enough of your bull crap. Go to the principal's office right now. So, Rosie, what brings you here into my office on the first day? I refused to write a story about my summer break and yelled at Miss Martin. Rosie, you don't ever yell at your own teacher on the first day of school. That's it. You are suspended for three days. Go home right now. Rosie, 
We can't believe that you refused to write a story about your summer and you yelled at your own teacher and got suspended on the first day of school. That's it. You are grounded until your suspension is over. Go to your room right now. Dad, I'm hungry. Hi, hungry. I'm Dad. Why did you name me this way? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, Jim. I'm on a horse. Oh, goodness me, that's not a horse. <laughs> Oh, hey, Mr. and Mrs. Quagmire. Hi, Peter. I'm a little worried about Glenn. I haven't heard from him in days. Have you seen him? I haven't seen anybody. I've been grounded for pinching a girl. Hey, are you guys talking about Quagmire? He never showed this morning, and today's the day we usually go apple picking. Get that one. Get that one. Hey, get that one. Get that one over there. No, not, not that one. I already got it. I can't put it back. Well, it's not going in the pie. Well, if you're so smart, why don't you come up here and pick them yourself? And now there's no pie at all. I've already checked Glenn's house, and there's no sign he's even been there. I'm afraid something terrible has happened. Now, let's not jump to any conclusions. I'm sure if we just check his usual hangout, someone will have seen him. Wait a second. He hangs out at the clam with some fat loudmouth. You find Loudy McFatass, you find Quagmire. Come on, let's go. Okay, you guys, where should we start looking for Glenn? Well, sometimes Quagmire likes to hang out under all the clutter in my garage, so why don't we just start sorting stuff and throwing stuff away, but obviously checking with me first before you throw stuff away. No problem, Peter. Quagmire, if you're in there, hang tight, buddy. We're coming. Right, and if we can't find him in here, he sometimes likes to hang out in between the blades of grass in my lawn and also in the firewood that needs to be split. Might he be under the leaves in your gutter? Great question, and yes, he might. So while you guys are taking care of that, I'll be around back flicking pine cones at a tree with this hockey stick. Aloha. Welcome to Ryan's Hawaiians. Hey, how you doing? Amazing. Have you seen this man? Glenn Quagmire? Nah, the last time I saw him was three months ago. Sold him 70 red shirts. Yeah, he does look good in that shirt. Uh, everyone looks good in my shirts. How about you, Big Island? Uh, I don't know. Do you want to be an oldies DJ or a 1980s wrestling manager? Yes, both. This is beautiful. Heart disease looks better when it's wrapped in a tropical floral pattern. Oh, my God, this is hopeless. We've been searching for hours. Glenn could be dead by now. I know, and if you guys are really hungry, I suppose I could eat. Come on, we can't give up. Someone's got to have seen Quagmire. Or if not him, at least Sonia. Excuse me, did you just say Sonia? Yes, I did. That was my dog's name. Excuse me, did he just say Sonia? Yeah, it was his dog's name. Oh, I thought he might have been talking about this super kinky woman who's always down here trying to lure men to her sex slave shed. No, I think he was talking about his dog. No, Peter, that's the Sonia we're looking for. Sonia must have taken Glenn there. Where exactly is this sex slave shed? I'm not sure, but I've heard she has a unit at Quahog storage. Apparently that chick's a complete psycho. We gotta get over there. Come on, you guys, let's go. Oh, man, I hope we don't catch him doing something freaky. I'm still weirded out from when I walked in on that masturbating Eskimo. This is it, number 92. This is Sonia's storage unit. Quagmire, are you in there? Oh, he's eating. We'll come back when you're done eating. Glenn! Hurry, she'll be back soon. I can't believe the guy with the ponytail and the facial tattoo at the front desk would let this happen. Well, what's this? We got company? Hold it right there. Please, do you think I'm afraid of you? Boy, if you were ever going to stand, this would be the time, Joe. Everybody just shut up! You idiots should have minded your own business. This is our business. You kidnapped our friend. You're going to jail. Don't come any closer or I'll shoot you. Oh, I don't think you're going to shoot me. You don't got the boobs. What? I don't know. Now just hand me the gun, Sonia. Oh, I swear to God, you get one inch closer to me and I'm going to shoot you. What the hell? Like I said, you're going to jail. Oh, my God, Joe, that was so close. How'd you know the gun would jam? It didn't jam, Peter. The gun was never loaded. Sort of had a mental breakdown in April. No more bullets for this guy. Oh, Glenn, I was so worried about you. Are you all right? No, no, I I'm pretty 
far from all right. Well, I guess this is as good a time as any. Happy birthday, Joe. You dick! Thank <laughs> you.